It's been a busy month with updates. I recently reviewed System Update 2021.12.25 with the new arcade game Skyforce Reloaded. See the link above for that video. This week, 2021.24.5 arrived with a bunch of changes. Let's get into it now. First up is the headliner of this update. The Disney Plus streaming app has been added to the theater menu under Entertainment. I'll give a quick look after this overview. Next up is the new car wash mode. Then we have a mirror auto dim feature. Dashcam improvements include the addition of the automatic function. Now a quick tap will show the battery remaining miles or the battery percent. Remain connected has been added to the Wi-Fi settings. And lastly, there is new language support for Hungarian, Romanian, and Russian. Let's have a look at the Disney Plus streaming app. Go into Entertainment and then Theater, and then press the icon. For the first time entering this app, type in your email address and password to log in if you have an account. And I'll scroll around a little bit to show you what's on this app. To exit, press the X button on the top right side of the screen. Next up is the new car wash mode. Engaging this mode will make a bunch of temporary option changes and alerts that will hopefully help you when you want the car to go through an automated car wash. The items in this list were available before this update, just not in one place like this. The list shows all the particular settings and warnings. If everything is good, all the entries will be green. Any red ones, make sure they're taken care of. For example, an open trunk. When done with the car wash, press the exit car wash mode button on the lower right. For the new mirror setting, go into quick controls, and press the mirror button. In addition to the previous options of mirror auto tilt and auto fold, there is a new option for auto dim. This is useful to reduce glare when cars with bright headlights are behind you. For dash cam, go to the safety and security menu and scroll down until you see the dash cam item. In addition to off and manual, there is now an automatic function. If the car determines that an event has occurred while driving, it will automatically save the dash cam video to the attached storage device, be that a flash drive, micro SD card, or SSD. Next is a handy update on the range display. Press the range number on the top of the screen and it switches between miles remaining and percent. Someday I hope we get both percent and miles shown at the same time, or at least offer it as a third option. Next is a new Wi-Fi feature. Click on the Wi-Fi in the top right of the screen and then click on Wi-Fi settings. I have one Wi-Fi network saved. If you have multiple, choose the one you want to modify. Now you will see a Remain Connected in Drive option. This is useful if you have a cell phone with a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can click this option, and while the car is driving, you can use the phone's Wi-Fi. This is good for using the web browser on the screen. So in all, a bunch of new additions and changes. Please leave any comments or questions down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.